What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here on the Gentry and Sons YouTube channel. So guys, behind me here, most of you know this truck, but behind me is our 1972 Freightliner cab over. So we bought this thing probably a year and a half, almost two years ago in Knoxville, Tennessee from a guy named Stan Harvey. He's a legend in the trucking industry from back in the day. So he's had some pretty awesome trucks. So he actually built this truck from the frame up. I mean, he took the whole entire cab apart, literally panel by panel and built this truck back, rewired it. I mean, he done all the work himself. The guy is amazing when it comes to working on trucks. So he finally, I'd been trying to buy the truck for a long time and he finally decided to sell it. So we didn't just buy the truck, we bought a 42 year old stainless reefer to go along with it. I mean, like this thing's got aerobar hydraulic jacks on it. Trailer's in amazing shape. So we bought the truck, we bought the trailer, and I'll actually put a link down in the description and in the comments of this video. So it was a really cool video when we went and bought it and we did a live buying it. And then we went back and tried to do a will it start video on it and get it running and driving. And we were gonna drive it home. Well, that didn't work out. So we ended up towing the truck home and we were gonna work on it at home. Well, as you guys know, last year our shop burnt to the ground and our, our, our whole entire business um, was at jeopardy. We lost all of our tools, our parts, everything that we had built up over, you know, I've been in that shop since I was a kid with my dad. And so 25 years worth of stuff just burnt, you know, it just burnt to the ground. So we spent the last year trying to recover from that. We didn't get to work on our projects. You know, I wanted to get this truck running a long time ago and be a lot further along than it is because I want to take it up and let Stan actually drive it or ride in it and pick up the trailer that I bought with it. So Stan is now, I just talked to him the other day and Stan is on oxygen now. I mean, he's like 80 years old and super great guy. And my goal is to take this man to ride in this truck before, you know, it's his time to go to heaven. And, you know, we're, we're definitely behind the eight ball on it. So last year, you know, we didn't have, I didn't get to work on any projects hardly at all. I mean, we've got to work on a few, but very, very few. The only ones we really worked on is something that could, you know, help the business progress, help pay for this shop. Um, you know, help get us back on our feet and get back in shape to where we can work on these things and get back to, you know, what we started doing. You know, I love fixing up old cab overs. I love fixing up old trucks and running them on my fleet. And, you know, we're there now. 2024, I told myself, this is the year we're gonna get back on all of our old projects. We're finally in our new shop, finally getting, you know, seeing some green grass instead of being in the red all the time. You know, I didn't know that we were even gonna survive. I mean, it was a tough, tough year for us to even survive. And the fact that we're still standing is just, you know, an amazing accomplishment. And I can't thank you guys enough for supporting us and standing behind us. And all the real followers and all the real fans of this channel, they all stood behind us. Everybody stood behind us and supported us the whole way. They knew what we were having to do to survive and come back from it. I mean, we worked out of a service truck in the rain, the snow, cold weather, you know, burning up scorching summer, um, you know, the dead of heat. I mean, all that stuff. We were working with tents. I mean, the whole nine yards went, you know, just to survive and get to this point. So guys, I want to thank you once again. Thank you for supporting us. Thanks for being there and understanding. So we've got this project. We're gonna go take standard ride in it. We're gonna pick up the stainless trailer and we're gonna hopefully take it to mats. It will not be finished when it goes to mats. It'll be under construction, but we've got a big booth this year on the inside, just like we did last year, except this year, they're giving us a gigantic booth, a booth that we have, we can bring other YouTubers in and you know let them meet you guys. Um, there'll be a place where you guys can hang out with us and sit and talk and uh, it won't just be a big long line this year You'll actually be able to come see us and you know be a part of it and all that good stuff So if you hadn't got a ticket yet for Matt's the Mid-America Truck Show, it's going to be an awesome show A lot of good guys are going to be there Troy Massey all of them big truck builders You know, we're not nowhere near that level uh, on working on these trucks yet. We're getting there where we're trying to get there But all them guys will be there. We'll have them, you know, I'm on see if Troy wants to come in and you know there's a lot of people who wants to meet him he's a great friend of mine um, 
you know, I'm sure Bruce would be there. There's going to be a lot of YouTubers there. A lot of, uh, I'm sure FSC would be there. Um, James Prey. I mean, there's going to be a lot of guys there, cab over guys. And um, I think probably Dominic, the dump truck driver, she should be there. Hopefully, you, get, you guys are going to get to meet a lot of YouTubers. And we'll all get to be in one good place to, to do that. So, it is the coolest truck ever. I mean, for back in the day when he built this thing. I couldn't imagine. I, I bet he was just a top dog out on the road. So he parked this thing and he bought a 359 Peterbilt. That's when you could finally go from, you know, a cab over to a, a hood truck. And once that happened, he bought a 359. And once he done that, he took this truck and pulled it plumb down to the frame. He stretched it. You know, I mean, this is back in, you know, like 70s and 80s. So he stretched it, put big gears in it, tall rubber. He took that 15 speed transmission that's in it and did a turnaround deal on it. So this thing, he says it'll run like 115 mile an hour. And knowing Stan, I'm sure he probably tested it out and knows that it would do 115. But pulled the cab completely apart, plumbed down to this to structure and rebuilt it back. It's got 69 model doors on it. It's got an awesome dash in it. All steel, all the lights work, the gauges, the switches, I mean the whole nine yards. It's powered by this awesome 1693 kit. So the reason we couldn't get it started once we bought it, we, we tried, we tried to do a wheel start on it. And thankfully it didn't start because the pump was in, in full rack. I mean, it would have ran away with us. So we took the pump and took it to City Diesel in Knoxville, Tennessee. And them guys worked it over. They did a great job on it. They had to get parts from like Wisconsin, I mean, like all over the place. They had to literally get piece by piece just to make this pump work, and they done it. They worked their butts off and built us a pump for this truck, and it's a hot little pump. This thing should run like a Scalded Eagle, and I can't wait to actually get to drive it and get to test it with the, you know, we gotta put a turbo on it, so the, when we took it apart, some of the parts that we had for this truck was actually in the shop fire. Like the oil line for the turbo burn up in the shop fire, the return line burn up for it. Uh, there's a whole bunch of parts that burn up for it. Um, all this fuel system burn up. And luckily, Rob up at SH Tube had uh, an old motor that they had took apart and didn't use anymore. And so he gave me that motor and we were able to piece this thing back together to where we're at now. What you guys are going to see in today's video, we're going to do a wheel at start on this thing. Hopefully get this thing running. And uh, I don't know if we'll get it driving, but we're definitely going to get it running. That's where we're at with it. We got the pump on it, the whole fuel system's on it. Um, all we like now is just getting it running. We're gonna make sure the engine runs. We don't have any issues with it. And once we get it running, then we'll start sinking some money in this thing. Get the turbo on it. We're gonna upgrade the turbo, uh, do some other things to it. Just get it ready to go to the truck show. Get some exhaust on it, fix the intake pipe. Um, we'll go over it. Once we get it running, we'll go over what we're going to do to it after we hear the engine run. So Bryce and Taylor's on their way over. So it's the weekend. We ain't got much going on. So we're going to try to get this thing running tonight. And hopefully, uh, we might do a YouTube live. Most of you guys have probably already seen this. But guys, here we go. Let's see if this thing will run. <laughs> How did I get that job? <laughs> it's your truck. <laughs> Y'all just don't want me standing there if a rod comes out the side. <laughs> Uh, we're trying to get power to it right now to get, now, I don't think, I mean, we got a new pump. <clears throat> the other pump was stuck in full rack. This one's not. So anyways, we had a book, a 1693 book that we went by on timing this thing. You get it? Yep. Oh, heck yeah. Who was it? Just needed to. You didn't do it right. Oh. Them big new fancy Bradery chargers, they just stink for me. You put diesel in this thing. It's got diesel in it. You put diesel in it? Yeah, we put new fuel lines. We put new diesel in it and everything. Hey. We ain't been messing around, boy. We want to hear this thing run. All right, we're going to bleed it out. Oh, yeah, look at there, boy. She's priming right up.
what y'all guys guess is you think it's gonna start? Yeah. This is the first time this thing comes to life in what, 28 years? It's almost 30 years I think yeah. it started. Stan said the last time he started was 26, 27 years ago. I've had it for two years, so almost 30 years. Hi. Since this truck has started. Now we got oil. Yeah, look how pretty that oil is. Did we change oil in this thing? Maybe Stan did 27 years ago. <laughs> Look at all. That ain't. So, yeah, it's brand new. New filters, man. Because <laughs> they're 27 years old, don't mean. All right, it's either going to come right to life or we're going to have an all nighter bleeding this thing out and priming it and all that stuff. And I don't know what all this is, but. How will it run without a turbo? They don't need a turbo to run. I mean, it won't sound as cool. It won't go. Oh, but man. Yeah, without that. I just want to hear it go. Rum. A rum. So this thing, so it's 24 volts. Yeah. Like it's got a, uh, there's a thing underneath this plate. You guys, let me show you. So this thing is a, it's a 12 volt system. But to start it, it switches over to 24. So there's a thing right here. This thing right here. See that thing right there? It switches it over to 24 volts. So you can see 12, 12. Um, and then somehow that turns it into, switches it out for 24 volts. So the starter is the only thing that's 24 volts on it. The alternator, all that stuff's 12 volts. I love staying there. The guy on this truck is just the coolest dude ever. Hey, that's a big boy. It looks big, but look right here. Look how little that little tiny. Dang, that's tiny. Yeah, I know. Oh, I hear it. Now we got power. What is that? Is it shifter? I just don't know if it's in reverse or not. Or out of here. Is it wiggling left or right? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think it's in neutral. All right, guys, we got the big generator on it. That thing's got a 250 amp that helps start, like, it'll put out 250 amps to start with. Put the booster cables on it. Yeah, it's a beast. Ooh. Turn it on. Johnny's gonna fight us tonight, Brax. Nope. Once it gets turning over, I'm hoping it just takes fuel and fires right up. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? You going to get crazy? I don't know. I'm out. Possible. Yeah. Oh, it'll stick wide open. Where'd it go, Bobo? It may start, it may not. It might run away. It might do something crazy. I don't know. So you got to turn the switch on and then there's a button beside it. Turn the switch on. For some reason that thing's in locked position. The throttle's locked for some reason. That's just like that. I mean, down here it is. Oh. 
could be. Yeah. Bump it over for a second. Let me see if it unlocks. Just bump it. That's good. No, dang. I wonder if it's solenoids working. I bet you that solenoids got it. Need some glass ribs. Let off. Oh, it's got this solid Never mind. Okay. We're going the wrong way. I think that's the solid throttle it's got. Oh, I'm nervous. Turn it over and see what happens. Woo, I'm nervous as a cat. This ain't smoke That's a lot of power. See what happens. She's a smoking. Oh yeah. So I don't know if I got that in the right position or not. I'm assuming I do since it's smoking. She might run. I know what, that's got to be the kill switch, huh? You see, it's. Uh, yeah. Should be. It's smoking. It's good. It's turning over good too. All right, turn it over. I'll give her a little juice. Oh, I'm nervous. I mean, it's, it's smoking. Let me break some injector lines loose and see what happens. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, we got plenty of fuel. Holy crap. That's plenty of fuel. Dude, that's really putting the fuel to it right there. Uh, get you some starting fluid. Get them boards to give it a little bit of fuel once it gets cranking. Police and get crank, cranking them lines, get the iron work hell up. Yeah, we got plenty of fuel. Go ahead. Blowing crap out of the end motor, huh? I saw a spark, so I said, "Shut it off." I didn't realize it's come out of the zone. Now gone, boys. It runs. Unbelievable. Whoa, what's all that over there pouring out? Coolant. We got a coolant leak somewhere because it's all over the top of the head too. Is that cooler or is that fuel? It's cooler. Okay. 
Where's it coming from? On top of the head, right here somewhere. It's coming out of the valve cover. The valve cover? Oh, never mind. Uh, oh, it's a. Uh, is it a water pump? I don't know. It looks like diesel. Uh, no, to me, no. this could be reason we get fuel where we sh should be. We got fuel coming out of the Valka or what is it? It's water. That's water. Okay. We got water some coming from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I'll find it now. Get in the road, You tell me the sound that ain't nothing wrong with it. It sounded good. No, it sounded real good. No, it does. You, it's hitting. You just got to get the head on all of them. Oh, is right. this a water line? That's yeah, this is where, where it's coming. It's coming out of this water line that's supposed to be connected to the intake. Okay, not. water line going to the intake. But it's not Leaking. connected. It's not connected? No. Can you connect it? What are they going to the intake? Is yeah. this a bed hose? No, it just wasn't on. The it just way. wasn't on. Uh, somehow we got this pump put on right. I don't know how we done that, but I mean, I guess it's right. I mean, we ain't ripped it up or nothing. Yeah, let's, let's just get done here first before we get carried away. Before we get excited. <laughs> yeah, before we get excited. We'll wait before we get excited. I'm excited though. God, I'm excited. Yeah. Hey, it's been a long time coming here, this old truck, right? Yeah. Firing her back up, boys. Yeah. Let's fire it up and let it run for a minute. I think she ain't trying to run away. <laughs> It's clearing, it's just clearing some holes out.
Get no sleep for days. What oil pressure did it have? Oh, yeah. All major charging, oil pressure. Uh, what was the oil pressure? What was the oil pressure? I couldn't see that. That 80 pounds, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. 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 Dude, that figure just rumbles your chest when you drive it up. Ooh. Yeah, that's dumb. Boy, I tell you what, it's worth it. It was worth dealing with. Worth the wait. That motor truck got a throw and a high on Man, that thing sounds like it's going to be peppy. Yeah. It's building air pressure. Yeah. Dude, I can't wait to pull this. Just drive it. I cannot wait to drive this truck. Oh, Rob, everybody's calling you now to tell you it's running. Yeah. Rob's phone's ringing off the hook. <laughs> My phone went to ring. <laughs> it's Courtney. She's probably watching you live. That's a big family, guys. Trucking is just a big family. I want to drive. I'm driving this thing up there. I'm going to get some good tires on it, get all the leaks fixed, turbo working, make sure it runs and drives good. He's going to be excited to get to take a drive in it. For sure. Yeah. Oh, Stan Harvey. So, guys, that's the name on the side of the door. Stan, this truck come from Knoxville. Back up, bro. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> this thing's holding air pressure like it's ever been shut off. Yep. Guys, this thing's still holding air pressure. Turn on all lights, Bryce. There you go. Uh, we got one cab light out. All the interior lights work. <laughs> Look, even the side lights work. Yeah, it's unreal, man. You know they're built right when they've been sitting 30 years and they run still. Oh, yeah. Operating lights work. Is that a 71 or 72? 71. Yeah, I had a 72. Dang, bro. Dang, I was scared. You like it? Yep. We are getting close, Brax. I really want to see this thing painted this weekend, but as you can see, it's not painted. Yeah, I think it's the last day of the weekend right now. I know it. So guys, that was our goal. We really, really wanted to have this thing painted this weekend. But uh, I'm just going to tell you right now, you guys that do body work and you guys that paint trucks or cars or anything, any of the paint guys on the channel, you guys are bad at the bone. I'll just tell you. I really thought, I was like, oh yeah, we'll have a thing, we'll have a paint in a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, right. So we are getting there though. We got this side done. We're close. We're trying to finish it up tonight. Um, we've been working on the brakes on the cab over. I was really hoping to actually have the, the cab over running and driving under its own power in this video, but she ain't moving. Them brakes are stuck. They are stuck big time. And Brax will go show it to you here in a second. But, um, I'm going to try to update y'all. Until it's painted, um, each video that we put out, guys, will have something um, with Weston's truck in the video. There ain't nothing left to do with the frame. Um, motor's in it, all the wiring, all that stuff's done in it. 
So there really ain't nothing left there to do other than to get these painted and get them back on the truck. And then once that's done, it's just put stacks on it, you know, put the mirrors back on it, breathers, headlights, finish the wiring up, start it, get it running and driving. It's a pretty big list. Mm. You think we're gonna be able to pull that off by my hats? How many months is that? <laughs> How many months? I was hoping about weeks. Um, it's in March, so match is in March. So um, I'd like for Weston to be able to have it back and actually do some videos with it before match, though. Get everybody hopped up about seeing the truck at, at the truck show. Mm. That'd be pretty cool. So we still have a long way to go, though. I mean, a long way to go. Um, we should have the body work done, though, hopefully by Tuesday and have it in the paint booth. Everybody keeps asking about the paint booth. Guys, it's folded up. It's put in this little storage area. All we got to do is pull it out, blow it up, and then pull them into the paint booth. So paint booth's still working out good, and it will be. this will be getting painted in the in the inflatable paint booth. That's why I bought the thing is for this truck. So we're pretty much done back here. We just got a more round of smoothing this out. Right here, we had a little bit of a ding right here, and then down here is done. And then that little spot right there. And then this right here. So that side's done, you guys seen it. This is the side, we still gotta do this. That's what it started out as over there though, is just like this. This is a, like an air vent for, um, which will no longer be used in this truck. We had a new custom interior built for it. And the way I had it built, it blocks that off. So it won't even be in use. And the way we're building this thing on the inside, there would be no use for it anyway. So that's where we're at. The cab is pretty much done. It's stripped, it's ready to be primed. We've well, got the front strip, finishing up the fiberglass work on it. So this all up here is stripped and ready to go. I gotta pull these bolts and stuff out where I can paint around all that stuff. But for the most part, the cab is done. The top's done. I'm gonna hit it with some 1200 and some 1500, wet sand it one more good time. And then uh, put the interior back in it. Uh, we got some new custom flooring coming for it. Get the interior put back in it, new steering wheel. And then once it's sitting on the, the frame, you know, it should go together pretty quick. It's all wired and you know, plumbed and all that stuff to where it should just be plug and play at that point. Hopefully, you know, I, it sounds easy on camera. It does. It sounds really easy, but uh, it's not. Sometimes it's not the case. But guys, like I said, we wanted to move this thing under its own power in this video. It just ain't gonna happen. It did. Yeah. I want to paint like a or like do a truck just polished. The whole polished truck. <laughs> Like the whole thing. Yeah, like if you pull off some rims, like those. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so guys, back here, these brakes, I've, I've, I don't think I've ever had a set of brakes as stuck as these are. The uh, classic, that red classic that we bought, that's been sitting for 13 years, uh, we ended up having to cut the drums off of it, which is probably going to be the case with this truck. I mean, they're stuck. They are stuck, stuck. <clears throat> So me and Brack, Brack's got it greased up. We sprayed it, we've heated them, we beat on them, we took sledgehammers to them, we've caged them. And not only the spring brakes are stuck, but even the maxi axle or the maxi brakes are stuck. And that's just your apply brakes. It don't actually hold the truck. You know, these back here, when you set your brakes, there's a spring in there and it clamps real tight and that's what locks the brakes down to where the truck don't roll. That's your parking brake. Well, the front axle, it's just when you mash your brakes, all it does is just applies. Somehow, those have welded themselves to the drums as well. The truck needs new brakes on it. I didn't want to have to do it right now. You know, this is a project that we're going to do on the side. So I know a lot of people are excited about this thing, and we're going to work on it as much as possible. But right now, that 379 is our main project. Like, that is our main goal right now is to get that truck done. And I've got a you know a couple other trucks I've got to do for some friends and stuff, but so this thing will be worked on like in the evenings and on the weekends, and instead we're going to do a full blown restoration on this thing. Um, well, I don't. It's not really a restoration. Stand on a lot of it. Really, it's just going to be 
you know, some really good TLC, maybe some paint work. He's actually got the original paint from where he painted it. Um, so don't get too excited. Don't please. I know everybody gets excited about these projects and they want to see them done in two weeks, but that will not be the case with this truck. I'm going to tell you guys up front, any project that I start now, I will tell you up front, hey, it's going to take a while. And if it's something we can do quick, I'll let you know, hey, this might be a quicker project. But I want to just be straight up, up front on these, you know, guys, these projects don't get done overnight. I know a lot of times you can go on YouTube and see a full-blown truck rebuild done in 20 minutes in a video. Well, more than likely, it took them two years to make that 20-minute video or a year or however long. You know, these things don't get done overnight. And I want everybody to understand, you know, this ain't going to be a quick project. We're not stripping it plumb down to the frame. I don't want to take this truck apart like that. So we're going to start. We're going to start with a turbo. Get the turbo, the engine, get it all running good. Do the mechanical part of it. Make it run and drive really good. Make sure all that's good and operational. We can drive the truck anywhere we want to drive it. Do all the hoses and all that stuff. And then we're going to start section by section. So we'll probably do like the frame rails. Get them painted, you know, sandblasted and painted. And, you know, just start fixing it up as we go. I don't want to take it apart. I want to keep the truck whole the whole time and just do section by section, you know, piece by piece. Do the frame, you know, work on the tanks, you know, do some stainless to it. We've got to change these wheels out. As bad as I hate to, everybody keeps telling me these wheels are really dangerous. I like to get rid of them. As bad as I want to keep them, they're tubed. So they got rubber tubes in them that air up the tires instead of just being a tubeless wheel and tire. And evidently, this right here, this piece right here, so that's like a a ring brax that comes apart and then the the wheel and tire come, like this is a, a section, look right here. So this is a section, take that ring off and then the wheel comes off of that. that. Hmm. Uh, something like that. I don't know. It, I think that's right. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments if I'm wrong or not. But everybody tells me that uh, get rid of these wheels and put some buds on it, something that's safe. And, you know, if I'm going to be running the truck over the road, which I'm not going to run it like full time or anything, but me and Brax are going to take some cross country trips in it. And, you know, anytime we take, we're going to build this truck to pull our race car trailer is the plan. So this is what we're going to be taking to races and stuff. So it'll be registered as an RV and it's going to pull the, we're going to get us a stacker to pull the race cars in. And this is what we're going to take to the races with us. So it will be looking good, but it's going to take some time to get it there. So this thing don't have front brakes. Check it out. Look, that's spring assist steering. So no power steering and no front brakes. That's factory. Hey. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Is it pretty cool? Yeah. And it actually works pretty good because the dump truck's like that. It stops good. That thing's got awesome brakes on it. Yeah. So we got to get this all, you know, mechanically. We're going to go through it mechanically. Make sure it's mechanically sound. I might put some air out on the front of it. But right here, you got all these hoses and stuff we got to go through. Lines and hoses. and We're going to replace all these water lines. Right here's the heater core, I think. Yeah, I think it's heater core. There's the radiator. I'm hoping that radiator is good and we ain't gotta take it apart. That's mm. really dreading that. So once we start changing coolant lines and air lines and hydraulic hoses and stuff like that, I am sure we're gonna get into I don't know what we're gonna get into, but we'll see how it goes. I'm sure all those are used to be now. Yeah. And I'm gonna switch it over to twelve volt. I don't like that whole twenty four volt. So it's just a, it just starts on 24 volt. It don't stay on 24 volts. Like the truck ain't a 24 volt system. Just the starter is a 24 volt system. Then it switches over to 12. Once the alternator kicks in, I think it charges 12 volts. I don't know, guys. <laughs> so that's where I, I'm pretty sure we can just put a 12 volt starter on it and wire it up as a 12 volt deal. Because back here, you know, we we're, we got into this last night on live. All these, like the, the series is not in the batteries. So all your hots is hooked to your hots. You know, one, two, air, all four of these are hot uh, terminals. All these cables are together. You got two cables. One that goes right here, 
one that goes right here, right here, right here, and it goes straight to that solenoid over there, which I think is a converter. I think that's what makes your 24 volts there. But it's also got two cables that run up to the starter. So maybe that's where the series comes in. Um, is that the starter? Maybe, you know, it's where you're, where, where it makes us, I don't know. I've got in, I've got to get into the wiring on it. I still don't understand this whole 24, 12 volt system deal, but Stan tried to explain it to me and I just, I don't know. I got to get into it and kind of figure it out. But that's where we're at with it guys. I want to kind of, I don't want to make this video too long. I really wanted to move it tonight, but it's not going to happen. And I want to just make you guys aware of, you know, the kind of timeline we're going to have on finishing this thing and, you know, kind of give you an update on Weston's truck and just have a good old video. I had a good time. Hope you guys had a good time. Me and Brax is going to finish it off there and go in, get some dinner and try to get some sleep tonight. We love you guys and we'll see you on the next one.